Hey everyone, welcome to the second session of the PDP Boys Training Channel. We've put together a few more skills and techniques for the boys to practice at home. As always, we hope everyone is happy and healthy. Hopefully a little practice helps everyone from getting too stir crazy at home. So let's get into it. Okay, this first technique that we're going to do today is called the soul roll. What I'm doing there is I'm just rolling the ball back and forth between my two feet, just alternating my feet using just the soul. That's why it's called the soul roll. Now, as you gain more confidence with this technique, you can learn to hop with it and turn again, turn it into a type of dance and make it fast. So, and the faster you get with this, the faster it's going to help you to learn new things on the field. So, as you can see, I've sped up, and that's going to help me with a lot of techniques. Okay, the next technique that we're going to be doing today is called the Brazilian toe taps. Now, this is something that's new to me. I never did this as a kid, but I can see how it can teach you a lot of things, especially about ball awareness at your feet. Um, obviously the Brazilians know a lot about soccer and bringing rhythm and beauty to it so uh, this is something that they invented um, but as you can see I just kind of started with a, a slow alternating of feet with toe taps and then reaching behind with my back leg to touch the ball again now here I've sped it up a little bit more so it actually looks a little bit more like a dance so again this this can teach you some of the ball awareness with tricks like doing the Rabona or the Croy for some pullback moves that would help you with uh, ball control on the field. But um, if you guys can get this done at home, then I applaud you. It's going to help you out a lot. All right, the next technique that we're going to do, the next drill, is just a very easy inside and outside with the ball. If you look, notice I'm just slowly just kind of using the inside of my foot and the outside just trying to bring the ball back as many times as I can. Um, you can kind of speed up as time goes on. This will teach you to be a little bit more comfortable with both the inside and outside of your foot when you're playing on the field. This can be used for so many different things. Um, it really helps your touch on the ball helps you with um, skills, tricks, uh, settling the ball, um, moving into space away from um, defense, and then as you can see it can help you kind of get the fall ball between your feet, but um, practice this, try with one foot and then try with the second foot and then you can alternate. All right. Okay, the next drill is what I like to call the step over rodeo. Uh, this is another drill that just teaches you ball awareness. Um, very important for some of the tricks that um, players use on the field, especially if you're doing multiple step overs and, and faking a defender out. Um, you see a lot of professionals use this, but it's good for players of every age, um, especially for myself, as you can see there. But um, just Try to get in as many as you can. Anywhere between 30 seconds to 60 seconds of this technique will help you um, kind of discover a little bit more about ball awareness, um, stepping over the ball, being a little quicker with it. And then it gets you into um, a few different moves like bringing those step over and, and other tricks that you can do. Okay, with this next drill, I'm gonna use the uh, handy dandy wall that I built. I'm going to use a, a makeshift cone for this. Um, this is just going to be a passing drill, kind of a passing and moving. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to pass the ball, try to receive it on the other side of the cone, and then try to bring it back to the same side of the ball. So it turns out to be a little bit of a triangle. You may need a parent to, to do this drill to kind of, if you don't have a good wall to use, but um, try to just bring it around the cone, um, one or two touch to, to try to bring it around. Um, alternate feet as I did there. Uh, try not to mess up as, as much as I did. 
Um, but uh, it's, it's just a triangle. You're going to receive it on one side of the cone, move it to the other side of the cone, and, and pass it again. Um, Landon was sure to let me know that he could do this drill better than me. So here is him doing it. Uh, he was he was excited that he got to show me up. So, But as you can see, he's just passing it around like a little bit of a triangle around the cone and then passing it off the wall and receiving it on the other side. The next thing we're going to be working on this week is something new, is chipping. Um, if you have something high off the ground you can use, and then something for a target or a goal, use that. Um, what this technique is just to lift the ball off the ground. Um, you're skidding your foot off the ground, flexing your toe up after you make contact with the ball. And so you can lift the ground or lift the ball off the ground and get over any target that's in your way. This is useful for passing, um, shooting, all sorts of different maneuvers. But as you can see, I'm just starting slow by putting my toe under the ball and just lifting the ball over the target. And sometimes I'm hitting the goal, sometimes I'm not. But it can become a little bit more dynamic where you come through and you're actually striking the ball now. It's not as slow, and this teaches you to both learn to pass and shoot um, by getting the ball higher in the air. But again, I'm just flexing my toe on the other side of the ball, skidding my foot off the ground, and getting it into the air. So that's what it looks like. For this last drill, we're just going to be using two makeshift cones. We're going to be doing a drill that Coach Jose has done a lot with a lot of the Cheyenne Sting teams here. Trying to kind of teach control of the ball, teach players how to use both the inside and the outside of their foot. But all I'm going to be doing here is just, I'm going to start off with one foot and go dribble the ball in a figure eight pattern around the two makeshift cones. And I'm going to do this uh, between 10 to 20 times, just try to get a comfortable feel for it. And then I'm going to switch feet so that we can learn to use both of our feet. Um, again, just using the one foot um, helps us make our weaker foot stronger. Um, teaches me a lot more control when dealing with the ball. Um, and then I am going to switch to just using the outside of our foot. So I'm going to use just the outside of both my feet on, on this, this drill here. Again, 10 to 20 times each time I'm doing this. Um, learning to use every part of our foot. The faster I can do this, the better I, I'm going to be able to turn on a dime um, during a game and, and be able to play that much quicker. And then I'm going to switch to the inside, just using the instep of my foot. Um, learning to cut the ball around, around the cones. This helps you to get away from defenders and helps you to learn to control the ball. So I know that this can seem a little boring because you're just dribbling in a figure eight, but it is a great drill for um, developing all sorts of skills. So please, please practice this one at home and enjoy. <laughs> All right, boys, it's that time again. Time to learn something new, something flashy. All right, this week it's going to be the foot stall. Um, what you can see here is I'm just starting by giving the ball a place to sit on my foot by flexing my ankle, pointing my toe to the sky, so I can just hold the ball right in that position. Now, um, you can learn this trick by first putting it in that space, just learning to hold it there. Second, you can start to slowly roll it back to your foot and hold it there. Um, try to learn to move your, um, flex your knee so the ball um, stays stuck in that position. Try learning to switch feet with this. Uh, this this trick can open up all sorts of freestyle tricks, all sorts of uh, nifty tricks that you can do on the field. Um, makes you very popular with doing tricks and showing off for all sorts of people. 
but um, as you can see here I'm trying to bounce the ball back and forth and and learn to use both feet so if you get this one done you're gonna have to show us a practice because this is a uh, this is a great trick thank you everybody for watching this video um, we hope everybody again is happy and healthy I hope that uh, not everybody's going too crazy being stuck indoors but um, please practice as much as you can we understand that you you probably got a lot going on so anytime that you can get in touches get you that much more in the game and, and ready for us to go ahead and beat up on some local teams when we finally get to hit the field but um, Hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to smash the like button. Have a great week.